Okay, everybody, we are doing hip love. We are going to use the roller, and if you have your miracle balls, we will use those as well. So, um, but you know, if you want to just use your roller, you can use your roller, or you can improvise. You guys have been doing this a lot, so you know. Okay, so let's lay down on the floor, and just uh, palms face up, keep your knees bent for a moment here, and just allow your body to release, relax, into the floor. And one thing we want to work on today is when we breathe, really working on that exhale. So squeezing through the rectum, squeezing that belly small, and the deeper and longer we can make the exhale, it puts us more into a what's called a parasympathetic state, which allows us to rest, digest, heal, release. When we inhale, it actually puts us more into a sympathetic fight flight. So let's really focus today on that exhale. Nice, and then just add some movements into those hips. So we're just gonna do the nice windshield wiper here, side to side. Oh yeah. Into the hips here, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Focusing on that exhale. Beautiful. Bring your knees to center, bring them in, and just give a nice little rock side to side. And then put your hands on each kneecap and circle the knees around. Circle the knees. So separate them. And just notice how those hips feel into the lower back and then change directions. Nice, and then put your hands on your right shin, extend that left leg all the way down to the floor. Okay, so I'm gonna do something a little more advanced. So you can either hold like this or take your foot, hold it on the outside edge and pull that knee into the armpit and stretch like so, or keep it how we were. Opening up into the back of the leg, the glutes into the hip, the lower back, Nice. Coming down and switch sides. Oh, that feels so good. All right, pulling that other knee in. Breath in and out. And if you want to, take that foot into your hand, get a little bit of a deeper stretch here into the back. Nice. Drawing that hip nice and long. Play, 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 play. Good, and lengthen. Nice, oh, take a nice big stretch. Good, okay. So let's start with something a little more aggressive here. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of different options, all right? So we want to get into the side of the hip. So you can take your roller, and I actually like using a block as well if you have one just because I'm lazy sometimes, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. Okay, so we want the roller on this hard bit here. Now, if you're like Tanya, no way, I don't, I don't want to do that. Play around with the miracle ball. Okay, you can do the same thing with the miracle ball. Now, of course, the ball is a ball, so it's not going to be as stable. Or you can even take your block. Okay, so just some different options because I know some of you have hard rollers, so you could use a block. All right, so play around, and the idea is find what works for you. All right, find what feels good for you. So. 
Um, I also have this block here because when I get lazy, see how I can come down and support myself? <laughs> so we do want this to be relaxing, okay, even though we're going to feel this here. So you are, you're going to see me come up and down and all over the place. You are in the hip, so you're not on the femur. You're above the femur, okay? So when I roll onto my tummy, I get into my hip flexor and then we just roll onto the side here so we're trying to get this you know when you put your hands on your hips this this bone here big bone uh muscle grips fascia grips okay so play around does the the ball work the roller work the block work and just breathe and this top leg can do anything it wants to. Your legs can do anything they want to, whatever feels comfortable. Draw this shoulder blade down on your back and you're just rolling forward, rolling back with the breath. Now, when we're doing this, you want to search for pain. So we're not trying to avoid pain. We're actually trying to find the stickiness, the pain, the soreness. And it doesn't have to be excruciating, right? So see if you can find some, some tenderness there. And if any of you do have the wooden blocks that I use, please feel free to use those. Um, you're searching for pain. And when you find some, just allow yourself to release into it, to breathe into it. Now, um, you want to be on an area uh, that you can breathe into. So even though we're searching for pain, you have to be able to breathe into that area. Okay. So we're just staying here because when we stay here, it melts. It gets deeper and deeper, uh, softening those adhesions. You can play around with a bent leg, a straight leg at the bottom, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. And let's just hold for a few deep breaths here. So if you don't have a block here, you can play around. Again, you, you can put a pillow underneath here. And just slowly rocking forwards and backwards until you find an area. And you can just stay there. And when we do find an area and we release and we start to relax and breathe, we allow it to sink and let go. So let's take one more deep breath here. Get rid of all that air. Think of when you're exhaling black smoke energy, anything that no longer serves you, leaving your body. Okay, now we're going to explore a little bit. So we're going to come below the hip bone. So here's your femur. I want you to go a little bit lower. So if you have a ball, if you're playing around with the miracle balls, you can put the ball here. Again, it's going to be a little bit wobbly. You can move your block down a little bit lower. Okay, and we just want to, again, just get into this hip area here. What does that feel like? You can roll, like use your hands for support. You can roll into the top of that quad. It gets all bunchy in there. You can do some nice little rocks back and forth. Breathing. So this area, I'm getting very hot. This area of our leg gets very thick because this fascia is migrating forward out of alignment. So we want to unstick it and put it back. So you can do some toggling. Good. Oh, I hit a spot there. You can have both legs up or down. Oh, oh. Breathing. Nice. 
nice. And then just come back to set. Uh, actually, let's roll on to our tummy area. Okay, so if you have your hip, your balls, you can just put them underneath the hips like we've been doing. Woo! Warmed up, warmed up. Okay, so this goes underneath your hips like so. So I would use a roller or a miracle ball under each hip. Now just notice the, the side we have been working on, which is my right side, whatever side that is for you, feels lower on the roller. You should feel that it feels lower on the roller. Now see if you can come all the way down and just let that go. Breathing. And that should feel, that right side should feel lower, or the side you work, lower. Okay, come back up onto your elbows. Now here's a lazy way. You can put that block in your belly to support yourself here. Okay, draw those shoulder blades down on your back. And we're just gonna lift and lower the right leg only. Right leg only. So what we're doing is all day long, you are sitting, not that you're sitting all day long, but most of us sit more than we should. Or your hips are bent, right? You're in a crouch position gardening. And this hip flexor is very compressed and shortened. So really work here to lengthen that right leg as we lift it. Lengthen that right leg. Woo! You can either get super lazy if you have two, two blocks here and put your head on a block. Uh, this is a super, super relaxed way to do it. Or you can take a ball, support your head. Or you can get more of a workout and stay up on your elbows and have no support. And now let's pulse. Woo! So really squeeze that tush. Send that right leg away. Oh, and then hold that right leg up. Hold it up. Internally rotate the right leg, and you're going to take it to the right and the left. The right and the left. Breathing. And then hold it center, lift it as high as it goes. You can do whatever you want with that left leg. I am hot. And then come all the way down and sink back down all the way to the floor. Mm. So really getting into these hips today. On the membership, there's a great article about how tight hips affect your emotional state, uh, your belly, uh, your posture. It's worth reading. Good. Take a nice breath in. Nice. Okay. Now, come up. And either step on the roller or no roller, okay? So you can do whatever you want here. Stepping on the roller is going to make this a little more, a little more work because we're in an unstable surface. Pushing that right left knee in, so the leg that we've been working is the one that's behind us. Reach and draw those shoulder blades down on your back. Now you can hold here or lift that knee up and play. Good, so you're really good, and I love perfect. You can stand up and do this, excellent. You can stand up, make this your own. You can add in a twist with the knee up or down. Good, and you know what? The knee up doesn't mean it's better, it's just different. So you can try that knee down and do a twist we're just exploring into that hip, breathing, nice, good, oh, you can lean a little to the left, a little to the right, Woo. opening up 
into that hip. You might feel this in the lower back. All good, all connected. And let's release. Perfect. Okay, so come on to your back. And again, you can take the roller or the miracle ball. So if you have the miracle balls, you can put one ball underneath your right back pocket, one ball underneath your left back pocket, and explore there or come up onto the back of the roller. <sighs> Whatever feels good to you. And then just bring the knees into the chest. Now, if you're doing stuff on the balls, just, you know, do what we normally do, or try this, because it's a little different from one to the other. And you may feel this right leg a little closer to your body, a little more relaxed. And then bring the legs back to center and you're just going to roll the knees to one side, roll them to the other. Roll the knees to one side, roll to the other. Nice. So just getting into the back of the hips now. Nice and slowly. Remember, the slower you go, the more you get out of this. It's very hard for my personality sometimes to slow down, but the slower I go, the more I use my breath, the better it is. Good. Just noticing your range of motion one more time all the way over to the other side. Nice, good, feet to the floor. And just take a moment and notice if you feel that right hip a little heavier. Just being aware of how your body feels is important. Lift your bum up, roll the balls of the roller away. Oh, that feels good. Woo! And then just come into a little windshield wiper here first, uh, again. So just noticing, maybe you have a little more range of motion this time. Maybe you feel a little differently on the right hip. Maybe not. Who knows? I don't know. Just play around, see how you feel. Good. Okay, so now let's repeat on the left side. So come on to that left side now. Take the roller, the block, the ball, whatever felt good to you. Have a sip of water if you need it. Always good to have water. Okay, so up onto the left side now, unless you did the left last time, and then you would do the right. K, K, K. Alrighty, so through here, now remember we are on the hip, 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 hip bone. You can take that block, put it underneath the ribs so you can relax a little bit more, and we're going to play into this hip. This top leg can do whatever it wants. Remember, you can be on a roller, you can be on a foam block, a wooden block, a ball. Ooh. But be on that bone. Find where you feel some tightness, some pain. Maybe, oh, this leg feels entirely different than the other one. Just be here, breathing, focus on that big exhale, squeezing that stomach small, getting all that air out of you, and even hold your breath a little bit before you take a new breath in. Play around with the breath. Searching for tenderness, Breathing into it. Good. 
Notice any referral into your lower back, down the leg, into the glutes. Maybe there is some, maybe there's nothing. Maybe it comes into your shoulder, down to your foot. When I'm doing this with my private clients, there's all sorts of different things that can happen. And let's take one more nice deep exhale here. Nice. Then move that roller just on top of the, like top of the femur. Okay? So again, use your legs, use your arms, support yourself. Roll back and forth. Nice. And again, notice the difference from this side to the other side. You can do little up and down movements, side to side movements. You can even bend that knee. Oh, you're trying to create space. So this area gets really compressed. Ooh, 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 ooh. So we want to open it up. So breathe into the area, draw the shoulder blades down. Woo! Use that block if you want a little support. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, that's sore. And let's stay here for four deep exhales. You may feel this come down into that knee. I'm feeling this coming into my knee. I did not feel that on my right side. Oh. One more exhale. Nice. And then let's roll on to the belly. Okay, so we're on, not we're not on the belly, but belly side down. I'm just gonna move so I can see you. And on those hip flexors. Okay. Oh yeah. So just noticing coming all the way down to the floor, noticing one side to the other. You may now feel like that left side feels a little lower. Again, you can use blocks and balls to support yourself or a pillow if this is not comfy. And then let's come up and again, support yourself if you want to or you can use your strength and we're gonna lift and lower that left leg. So when we're lifting and lowering the left leg, keep Five toes to the floor, your kneecap to the floor, okay, and explore that motion using your bum here. Your bum and your lower back are strengthening this. Um, we're strengthening the back chain, opening up the front hip. Exhaling, drawing those shoulder blades down. Oh. And let's pulse. And then hold it up. Reach that leg away. Draw the shoulder blades down. Open up that hip. Oh, how open 
can you make it? That's a lot of glute work going on here. A lot of hamstring work going on. Strengthening the back of the leg, opening up the front. Let's take two deep exhales. And coming all the way down, nice. Come back down to the floor. Let everything relax. Beautiful, come up. Now keep that left leg behind you or the leg we just worked, whatever that is, and step your other leg up onto the roller or up onto the floor, opening up these hips. Remember, you can stand up and do this one. You can use a chair. You can put your knee on a chair. You can do a standing quad stretch. Oh, so play. Draw those shoulder blades down, pushing that hip down to the floor. Reaching the chest up, you can come up off your knee, onto those toes, stretching and reaching, pushing back through that heel. You can roll to the side, opening up, you can put that knee down. Remember, I want you to listen to your body and see what it needs to open up that hip. And as long as you're working proper form, all is good. Ooh. Oh, that feels good. Nice. Remember, explore to the left, explore to the right. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Adding in some twists. Good, and then slowly coming up, and then let's come back down onto the floor. You can use your miracle balls or your roller. And we're gonna come all the way down, lift the bum up again, bring those knees into the chest. Feel that stretch into the lower back. Mm. You may notice your legs feel a little bit closer to your body here. Bring the legs up to tabletop and then slowly just roll side to side. Now when you're doing this, you can be anywhere along the hips, okay? so. You can get low down towards the tailbone. You can stay high up on the hips. Use the breath. And now let's hold the hips over to the left and just draw tiny circles. So again, if you are using the miracle balls, uh, all of you on here are pretty adept at to uh, knowing what to do on them. Just do what feels good. Change directions. Massaging into the head of the femur, into the hip. And just hold it over. Now, when you're in this position, make sure your shoulders are on the floor, your chest is up to the ceiling, your ribs are up. Just your hips are over to the left. Come back to center, hips come to the right. And slowly circle. Breathing. Oh, that feels good. Change directions. Exhale, hold the knees over to the right, 
to center. Now, if you can, lengthen both legs all the way down to the floor. If this is too intense, do the miracle balls or one leg at a time. We're just opening up these hips. Everybody stay down. I'm just looking at the clock here. Woo! We are finished. All right, just take a nice big stretch. Fingers and toes. Oh, send some love to these hips. We opened them up today. We opened up the sides. We opened up the front. We opened up the back. Oh, good job getting some space in here. Taking a nice deep breath in and out. Bend the knees. Lift your bum, take the ball of the rollers out, come all the way down to the floor. Oh, and just feel that space in the hips. You can wiggle out your legs, you can do a windshield wiper, you can pull the knees into your chest, whatever you feel you need to do just to finish this off. And high five. Oh, your hips are loving you today. They're loving you, loving you, loving you. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.